All right, everyone. Welcome to season two, Lalu Manu Beach. How's everyone doing? Very good. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah. Great. 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 So everything's right. How this is going to work, you are going to be split off into tribes. However, during phases where you're going to be potentially going to tribal council, you're going to be put into scramble rooms. You can see who's in those particular scramble rooms. You can go in and talk to any of those people that you want to. However, you can only speak to people that are on your tribe. If your tribe wins immunity, you're going to be put into a separate breakout room with your tribe. When that other tribe is in tribal council, you'll be free to go and scramble. Also, you will be pulled at any time throughout this game to go do a confessional. So you could be in the middle of a conversation. Too bad you got pulled. Make the most of your time. All right. Other thing to note for this season, any tie, we are automatically going to rocks. If there's any tie this season, we are going to rocks right away. We have a production crew with us. They're all going to introduce themselves. However, I'm your host, Lauren Pratt, for the game, along with my co-host, McKenna Feeney. And we're going to start with the rest of the production crew, starting with Alex. Yeah. Hey, everyone. My name's Alex. I'll be helping with your confessionals, as well as uh, for the unfortunate few of you that will be voted out, you'll be coming to me to say your last words. I'm Dan. Uh, if you're not going to Alex for confessionals, you'd be going to me. So I'll just be helping out with that. I'm John. You're going to see me in one of those scramble rooms when you're uh, trying to figure out who you're going to vote out. Uh, I'm Jeremy. I'm also manning one of the scramble rooms for strategizing. I'm Carrie. I'm also going to be manning one of the scramble rooms. I'm Ian. I'll also be manning one of the scramble rooms. I'm Annabelle, and you guessed it, I'll be in a scramble room. Get your strategy on. <laughs> Which means everyone else on the screen is playing. You ready to hear your tribes? All right. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> so the Pasea tribe which is the lovely uh, cyan blue squares that you got. Morgan, Jackie, Britley, Greg, Shay, Sean, and Robert. The Tapua tribe, which will be the purple squares that you got. Anthony, Eli, Dylan, Kyle, Serena, Carlo, and Nikki. All righty. At the end of today, we will have the winner of our second season. If you would like to cement your legacy, you could play aggressively or passively, but you may just have to play right in the middle. Are you ready guys to ready to get to your first immunity challenge? Absolutely. Yes. Yes. All right. For this challenge, you guys are going to be playing bet on it. Here's how it works. Each tribe will set an order of people competing in this challenge. Each tribe will be given a pool of 70 peaches. One at a time, members from the tribe will bet any number of peaches from their pool, trying to bet a higher number than the opposing tribe member they are facing off against. Mm -hmm. The person with the highest number of peaches wins the point for their tribe. First tribe to win four points wins immunity, safe from tribal council, sending the losers to tribal council to vote the first person out of this game. First immunity challenge of the season, survivors ready. Ready. Go. Ready. Three, two, one, reveal. Eight. 11 peaches. Tapua scores a point. Three, two, one, reveal. Tapua with another point. Tapua leads with two points. Pasia still with zero. Reveal. All right, Pasia 
First point on the board. Three, two, one, reveal. That's a two, by the way, not a six. Okay. <laughs> All right, Tapua scores a point. Tapua leads three to one. Three, two, one, reveal. Five. All right, Pasia scores a point. Mm. <laughs> Was that 25, Jackie? Yes, Morgan. Yeah. Okay. Score is now three points for Tapua, two points for Pasia. Can we hear the total number of peaches left for both crabs? Oh, she said that it was our job to keep track, so. Yep. Got to keep track of it yourself. Three, two, one, reveal. It's an eight. I got the right. That's the correct answer. We're good. Yep. All right. Tapua answers with 15, which means Tapua scores a point. Tapua wins immunity. Yeah. Basia means it's tribal it's council. Where the first person will be voted out of this game. I think I got a pretty solid tribe, honestly, man. I like everybody on there. Uh, and it seems like we went into the challenge with a lot better... Uh, strategy than the other tribe we had the order of the numbers picked out before we went in there and it didn't seem like they had that going at all so uh so far so good man i'm really happy with the tribe that i'm in i think we all work together very nicely um we seem very like-minded which is uh helpful um and i think we have pretty similar strategies so i'm hoping this is the first of many wins <laughs> Quick There's question. Nothing um, what was the under the urn thing? I came in late to that. So he, yeah. like, he wanted, I think he was like the, uh, like a immunity, like a hidden immunity idol. Oh, okay. They, do they have those? I'm assuming that like they have to send out clues somewhere. They usually do it and like say something or like give you some uh, sort of clue. Yeah. Someone played the podium. Okay. I'm guessing it had to be in the chats at some point. Like, we had to notice something. Yeah, I didn't okay. see it. I'm not going to lie to you. I did not see anything. Why don't we just ask? <laughs> Carla, what was the message about? I'm sorry? The one that you sent to everyone about underneath the urn? Maybe I cracked up things when there was some hidden clue for an immunity idol. I have nothing to hide. I'm sure some people cut that up and I did not realize that I was messaging for everyone. So I'll say one thing. I, I did the same message, but I didn't do it to everybody. I also got, um, there was nothing in the urn. So I think somebody has an idol. Um, I think it's safe to say not Carlos because he said to look under the urn. <laughs> Okay, I'm missing all of this. How did you, did you get messaged oh. and then you searched or did they yeah, say something and you were like. On the screen. Wait, what there was, was like a clue. Okay, so I guess. I think it was like in one of the host backgrounds. Yeah, it was. Oh yeah, it was um, oh. actually their name title. It said yeah, the really? name me oh. for clue. The name yeah, title so it was like, so I deemed, damned her clue. <laughs> and it said, hmm. Nothing is in. I open the urn and it's oh, empty. Shit. Oh my god, I missed that. <laughs> <laughs> so, so when Carlos message look under the urn, I'm like, well, Carlos doesn't have it. <laughs> okay, All I was right. gonna ask, like, well, I think yeah. somebody already took it from the urn if it was empty. <laughs> I didn't even see it. <laughs> the strategy we had was bad, and we probably go into tribal. Um, I'm a strategist guy, and Looking at our first four, we didn't have enough stack to win more than one, and I knew that was going to, to burn us. I kind of gently brought it up of being worried about my eight and got shut down, and I was like, cool. Um, because, frankly, I don't worry too much. Um, I try to keep my head low early on. Uh, if you come off too strong, you know, it's just like, great, great, you come off too strong, you get to be a target. As far, as far as first target, it feels like we're all on the same page that, unfortunately, we're going to be voting Bob out. Um, it just... 
it was pretty obvious that uh, he wasn't keeping up with the peaches and the pools. And when that, that was a very important moment for us to use a little bit more of our pool to kind of stay in the game. Bob, I think, is somebody that I'm not sure I could work with very well. Seems to be kind of shaky on decision making and things like that. It's Bob. I think it's Bob. Bob. I mean, yeah. No, I mean keeping track of the peaches. We got to be strong, and that's. Yeah, I think it's mm-hmm. Bob. Just because. All right, are we gonna lock that in, and then I'll go to a different scram room? Yep. Do yeah. it. That sounds do good. It. Let's do it. Got it. Me, Jackie, Morgan, and Shay are all I think a solid four. I feel like I've made connections with people already um, with Shay and Morgan and Sean. And we have already said, like, we're going to stick together, us four. Um, so hopefully that's going to actually hold true. So I feel like I'm going to try to keep working with them and keep talking to people, but still kind of lay low, um, kind of try to fly under the radar but while still contributing to the tribe so that I have a place that's kind of in the middle um, and kind of try to ride that until we get to merge. Right off the bat, I when we first logged in, probably the first thing I noticed was that all of the production team has their middle initial. And um, so right away, I wrote down all of those letters. And if you unscramble them, it spells the word legacy. So I messaged Ian and I received a legacy advantage, which can be played at the final six. Um, If I get voted out beforehand, I will have to, of course, will it to somebody who is still in the game. So that was a very exciting start. Um, But then when we were in our breakout room strategizing for the immunity challenge, I saw that Lauren's name had changed to um, DM for a clue or something like that. So I messaged her, she sent me a clue. The clue said, uh, it's clear you need safety, that you are thirsty for this win. Well, you are in luck. I'm offering you some nice drip to hang around your neck. Just text McKenna the magic word. And I see the words clear, thirsty, well, and drip. And that makes me think the magic word is water. And indeed it was. So Right now, I'm feeling pretty good because I have the legacy advantage and a hidden immunity idol. Um, So it's a great start to the game. I cannot complain. Bob, Um, who are you thanking for the vote? I'm thinking about myself because my internet keeps going out. Maybe you guys should vote me out. (laughs) Well, I've been thrown out of the Zoom twice, so I told them they probably should just vote me out because I don't know what the heck's going on. Um, I don't, oh, I mean, that's not what I wanted to hear. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, because my internet keeps going off. I don't know how much longer it's going to last. Okay, well, that's good to know. Thanks. Pasia, Tribal Council, obviously you do not want to be here, because that means one of you is going to be the first person voted out of this game. Shay, you come in, beginning of the game, McKenna lets you know what tribe you're on, and you see your group, and then you see Tapua. How do you think your tribe stacks up in comparison to theirs, based on first impressions of people? I mean, without chatting much, I think it's tough to say. I think that it's probably a fairly equal split. I mean, like, our our tribe seems fairly strong i think we you know i mean our like i said our strategy didn't quite work out but it wasn't a bad strategy it was just you know what i mean sometimes things don't work out and you know what i mean there's obviously they obviously came in with a strategy i mean you could tell by their numbers going like 11s which is one above the average of 10 you know what i mean so they're obviously thinking too um so i i you know we'll time will tell i mean i guess we'll get to know them a little bit as we continue to play or mergers happen and stuff but i think we, everybody's got a chance right now i think it's pretty cool Jackie, can you talk about what your tribe's strategy was going into that immunity challenge? Because we let you know you weren't able to talk to your tribe when making your own selection. You had to do it completely on your own and keep track of your numbers. Yeah, so we started out kind of thinking, okay, we'd bet a a few peaches at the beginning um, just to kind of see what they were going to be doing. Then bluff the second round, 
do zero peaches, to try to get them to do a lot, hopefully, and so that we would have an advantage over them going forward. But it turned out that we lost the first two rounds, and then we lost the third one, and then they only needed one more um, to win. And so that kind of um, threw us off a little bit, I think. Um, we were hoping that we would be able to still have an advantage over them and be able to take over the last few rounds, but it didn't work out as we planned, unfortunately, um, as Shay was saying. But I think that, yeah, we hopefully moving forward, we'll be able to have better strategy and um, yeah, work, work together. And it's hard when you can't talk to each other during, obviously, and keep track of all of the numbers. Morgan, was there anyone in particular that was kind of leading the tribe decision on how you guys were strategizing? Um, I felt like it was a fairly, I felt like there were a lot of voices in the decision making. Um, I do remember Jackie had initially suggested the strategy of um, doing the zero bid, which we all liked and um, Greg was super excited to do that one. Um, but I don't know, I feel like we work well as a team and I believe moving forward, we will win our next immunity challenge. Confidence, I like it, I'm always here for it. Gotta Greg. manifest it. Yes. <laughs> Greg, yeah. obviously there could be talks amongst the group that some people have played or participated in orgs before. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been involved in any of these, these type of games? Zero percent. So does it factor in for you with people that might have experience playing these or is it a clean slate for everyone, in your opinion? Uh, I, you know, I, like I haven't participated in games like this necessarily, but I think everybody's been dealing with games, challenges, lateral thinking their entire lives. So it's just a matter of, do we apply what we've learned here now? And, or do we recognize what we've learned yet? And in this case, this is, is there's the strategy is, is pretty, I think, ubiquitous through through everything we do. So uh, I think everybody had a good good uh, contribution to this strategy. I think this whole this whole team is, is moving forward pretty well. And it's I don't know if that really answers it well, but tough question, I guess. Britley, with that being said, do you think any people in this game, whether it's on this tribe or the other tribe, could potentially have previous or past relationships with each other? I think that's a that's a given. Um, even if it's not necessarily through um, like survivor minis or long term games. Uh, so I know for me personally, this is my first mini, uh, my first involvement as well with a game of this caliber. But um, I think also uh, going back on on what Greg was saying, where uh, we all have our own thinking and strategy that we want to come in with because we obviously love the game. And so watching the game and even watching these minis and um, everything else online, I think everyone kind of gets an idea of how they might want to come in and, and play this, so. So Sean, you have a couple people saying that they've never played in orgs before. Do you fully believe them? That's the question. I mean, <clears throat> I feel like there's people that'll come in and be like, Oh, I haven't played orgs because they're scared of getting that target on the back. I'll tell you right now, I've played over 200 orgs and I have only won two. There is no reason to be scared of being a past org player. You, I, I, People play differently every single game, typically. It's a matter of what the org is, what the strategy is, and how you're going to play the game. Um, do I think Greg is lying to us about playing no orgs? No. I mean, I don't think he'd have a reason to lie to us about that. Um, do I think Britley is lying to us? No. Do I think they have watched or seen orgs? Yes. Oh. But why? Yeah. Because they're here. They got here somehow. I mean, there is a possibility that Lauren or McKenna or Jeremy or Alex or Dan was like, hey, and knew them IRL and was like, hey, do you want to play this? And that's how they were found. But I find it hard to believe that that just happened. But maybe it did. You never know. So Bob, factoring in everything that everyone has spoken about at Tribal Council so far, how are you basing your vote? Uh, um, I asked who I should write down. Because I'm having problems with my internet. 
So you're uh, essentially asking them to vote you out of this game. Well, that was my thinking, but now my internet's working fine, so they can do whatever they want to do. <laughs> so what's your pitch to them to keep you in the game if your internet's working fine now? I didn't really have time to talk to anybody about anything because I was gone for so long. So it's probably the smartest thing for them to do. Sorry. All right. I'm afraid it's going to happen again. On that note, it's time to vote. No remorse, no sorrow, no pity. Don't ask to be voted out and you won't be voted out. My vote is for Bob. My vote is for Bob. Um, he asked us to vote for him, so it's kind of an easy out for the first round, and I'm not going to complain about it. Sean told me to write his name down. Alrighty, I'll go get the votes. Okay, Jeff Probes, I see you. Uh, you see it, you see it. If anybody has a hidden immunity idol and wants to play it, now would be the time to do so. Just a joke. <laughs> Once the votes are read, the decision is final. The person voted out will be asked to leave the Zoom call immediately. I'll read the votes. Bob. 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 That's three votes, Bob. Suspicious, all the papers are still. <laughs> Recap. The, the first person voted out. Bob. Oh. All right, bye guys. My internet went out and I came and told everybody they should vote me out. And then, of course, now it's working. So maybe someday I'll be back. <laughs>